Epicurus advanced an opinion almost contrary to all. He supposed, as originating principles of all things, atoms and vacuity. He considered vacuity as the place that would contain the things that will exist, and atoms the matter out of which all things could be formed, and that from the concourse of atoms, both the deity derived existence, and all the elements, and all things inherent in them, as well as animals and other creatures, so that nothing was generated or existed, unless it be from atoms. And he affirmed that these atoms were composed of extremely small particles, in which there could not exist either a point or a sign, or any division, wherefore also he called them atoms. Acknowledging the deity to be eternal and incorruptible, he says that God has providential care for nothing, and that there is no such thing at all as providence or fate, but that all things are made by chance. For that the deity reposed in the intermundane spaces, as they are thus styled by him, for outside the world, he determined that there is a certain habitation of God, denominated the intermundane spaces, and that the deity surrendered himself to pleasure, and took his ease in the midst of supreme happiness, and that neither has he any concerns of business, nor does he devote his attention to them. As a consequence on these opinions, he also propounded his theory concerning wise men, asserting that the end of wisdom is pleasure. Different persons, however, received the term pleasure in different acceptations, for some, among the Gentiles understood the passions, but others the satisfaction resulting from virtue. And he concluded that the souls of men are dissolved along with their bodies, just as also they were produced along with them, for that they are blood, and that when this has gone forth or been altered, the entire man perishes, and in keeping with this tenet, Epicurus maintained, that there are neither trials in Hades, nor tribunals of justice, so that whatsoever any one may commit in this life, that, provided he may escape detection, he is altogether beyond any liability of trial, for it in a future state. In this way, then, Epicurus also formed his opinions.